All right, in today's video, we're going to jazz up our homepage and tidy it up without any extra apps. Scrolling through YouTube on your phone is like having a mini TV in your pocket. It's quick, it's easy, and you can do it anywhere, whether you're on the bus or waiting in line for coffee. On the other hand, browsing YouTube on this mode is like having a bigger, more powerful TV. You get a wider view of everything with more space to explore related videos and read comments without feeling cramped. Imagine going from the usual cluttered home screen where you're not sure what to look for to a super neat display showing 10 items at once instead of just two. Pretty cool, right? If you're curious about how to do this, give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. But that's not all. We're not stopping at homepage customization. I'm also going to show you how to defy the limitations of text size restrictions without the need for rooting your device or resorting to dubious app downloads. Yes, you heard that right. We're breaking free from the constraints imposed by default settings and unlocking a world of possibilities. Our journey begins with a quest for the perfect app. Make sure you're armed with a keyboard and internet connection. Open up Chrome, your trusty map in this digital landscape, and type in the name of the app. Chrome is generally known for its speed and efficiency in web browsing. It's designed to load pages quickly and provide a smooth browsing experience. However, its performance can vary depending on factors like your device's hardware, internet connection, and the number of extensions you have installed. Ah, there it is. Your coveted app awaits, nestled within a shiny download link. Click on it like you've stumbled upon a secret cavern eager to reveal its riches. But beware, your phone might raise an eyebrow and say, hold on there, partner. Are you sure about this? Fear not, just nod confidently and proceed. With permission granted, it's time to unleash the magic. Tap on install and witness as your chosen app materializes before your eyes. It's like performing a mystical incantation, summoning a digital genie from its virtual lamp. Remember, only grant necessary permissions to apps after installing them. Head to your phone settings. Go to about phone then software information and tap on build number seven times. You'll need to enter your phone's password to unlock the developer options. Once that's done, go back to settings and look for developer options. With developer options unlocked, return to the main settings menu. You should now see a new option called developer options or something similar. Tap on developer options to enter this mysterious realm of advanced settings. Scroll down until you find the smallest width or minimum width option. This controls the size of elements on your screen, allowing you to adjust it to your liking. Tap on the option to enter a numerical value. The default value is typically around 360 or 411, representing the number of density independent pixels per inch. Lower values will make content appear larger, while higher values will make it smaller. Adjust the value according to your preference. Experiment with different values until you find the one that suits you best. It's like fine-tuning the focus on a camera lens until everything is crystal clear. Once you're satisfied with your selection, simply exit the settings menu. Your Samsung device's minimum width is now adjusted to your desired value, providing you with a more personalized and comfortable viewing experience. Check out how tiny my text is now. And guess what? This also works for organizing your apps neatly and making them smaller. And don't forget, the same trick works for the YouTube app too. Enjoy a nicely organized feed with lots of space to explore. With each flick of the thumb, a world of possibilities unfolds before your eyes. From the latest music videos to obscure documentaries, the diversity of content is boundless. What's fascinating is how the algorithm seems to have a mind of its own. If you want more awesome tips like this, hit that subscribe button.